This week, late night talk show host and comedian Jimmy Kimmel took a shot at Donald Trump and reminded his audience that the walls are in fact closing in on Donald Trump, not just with the New York fraud trial, but with the upcoming criminal trials that will take place next year as well. In fact, Kimmel didn't just say that the walls were closing in. He pointed out that the catch up on the walls is closing in. Now, for those of you who may not remember that of course is a reference to Donald Trump throwing ketchup covered plates at the wall at the white house because he became so enraged following the results of the 2020 election. So Kimmel does a good job right there, of course, of reminding his audience again, likely a not completely political audience, but reminding them of the temper tantrums that Donald Trump was known to throw while president of the United States, a man in his mid seventies at the time, throwing plates at the wall because he didn't get his way. I mean, I'm sure anybody uh, with, with children remembers when your kids were, you know, in their twos and threes and every now and then they, you know, throw a plate off the high chair and yeah, Trump did that in his seventies. And Kimmel once again, does a great job of reminding his audience that this is who this guy is, but Kimmel didn't stop there. He said, about Donald Trump trying to delay his trials. He said, in fact, he's trying to delay all his trials. He's a real delay hole. This guy, it's kind of funny. I get the play on words, a hole delay hole. Uh, but then he also referred to Donald Trump. And this is my favorite as future incarceree, Donald Trump, a strong implication, obviously that Donald Trump going to prison, perhaps sometime in the near future, which all of these little things. And I talk about this every time I end up talking about Kimmel because it is so powerful. You know, you're watching this segment right now because you're seeking out political news. When you turn on a late night TV host, you're not looking for political news. So getting it by accident, getting it from a comedian, getting it in a humorous way helps to bring these issues to a bigger audience. That is the importance of this. That is the power of it. People weren't tuning in because they wanted to know the latest news on Donald Trump. They'll go to the news for that. But when you're getting it, when you don't mean to get it, that's when things actually tend to stick a little bit better. When you can put the humorous imagery in there, like the, the ketchup plates going against the wall, referring to the president as future incarceree. Those are things that believe it or not do actually stick with people as they move forward. You may not remember the latest stats and figures or the testimonies or how Trump inflated this price by X amount, or, you know, the, the latest poverty statistics in the red States or, but you remember the image of Donald Trump in a striped jumpsuit going to jail. You remember the image of Donald Trump as a giant man toddler throwing a plate of ketchup against the wall. And that's why I love that these late night talk show hosts do this, whether it's Kimmel, uh, you know, Stephen Colbert, Seth Meyers does a really great job of it too. Uh, pretty much anybody, but Jimmy Fallon, <laughs> you know, but everybody else does a good job. And that's why I love talking about this because again, it's an audience that doesn't otherwise get this kind of political news, but they're getting it whether they want it or not. That's why this is powerful. That's why it works. And that's why those voices have become so important to this, to the voters of this country. You know, I hope they continue. I hope it doesn't, you know, turn off too many people. I know the Trump supporters don't like it, but believe it or not, with as crappy as the regular news is these days, these late night talk show hosts are performing a very valuable service for the voters in this country. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.